Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to another episode of Nuggets News. Today I'm just going to give you a quick walkthrough of our new exchange partner, uh, Bing X. You might have seen on socials that we've partnered with these guys because they were voted the number one exchange by TradingView for two years running. They've got hundreds of different coins listed as well as stocks and commodities and so on that I'm going to walk you through uh, and consistently in the top five to ten exchanges by volume, so plenty of liquidity there as well. Let's have a quick look at those different markets. We're going to walk you through how to trade the um, the futures or just to buy spot and so on as well, but hundreds and hundreds of different coins uh, and alts and different pairs, which we'll have a look at. But more so, I know a lot of you like to trade um, you know, stocks as well. The banks are moving of late. Uh, we've got Forex markets, plenty of talk about the um, Aussie dollar, the US dollar, what's that going to do and so on. So all these things are tradable, US stock market index, the Aussie stock market, emerging markets, as well as commodities. So you've got your gold, silver, um, oil and others there. Uh, we've also got the gold miners index and things like that. So plenty of those favorite products that you guys uh, like to trade are available. So when you first sign up, if you follow that link below, uh, that'll get you a discount on fees and eligible for all the deposit bonuses. Uh, then you want to fund your account. So if you've already got your crypto, you can click on uh, My Assets. And we've got a few different, um, I guess, sections here where you can deposit depending on what you want to do. So this is just your general overview of everything. Uh, this is your funds. If you just want to deposit funds, click on whatever coin or search for the coin that you want to um, actually deposit and that's going to give you uh, the address to deposit to make sure you click on the right network you know I think there's a lot of confusion these days with some of these uh, layer twos and different networks where often the actual address can be the same as well so even more confusion so make sure you're clicking on the right one depending on where you're depositing from and where you want to deposit to with some of these um, cryptos that have multiple options Let's just go back there for a second though. So if you want to actually put those funds in your account, then you want to transfer them to wherever you actually want to use them. So if you're planning on trading futures, you want to make sure that that's um, funded and transfer from your, just your general funds. Copy trading is another thing they have and grid trading. So let's just have a quick look at those. Copy trading is simply where you can copy your favorite traders. It shows their... Um, their results, you can go in and do more research about who's been consistent over time and whatnot, rather than just chasing whoever has had the best past 30 days. Uh, and grid trading is more of a, um, I guess, think of it as like a, a range trading uh, kind of bot. So you can set it up and say, hey, this is the range I think you know this crypto is going to stay between. And every time it has those spikes and wicks higher, it'll, it'll start to... Um, Add to your position if you want to short, and then as it starts to fall back down, gets to the bottom of a range, you know it'll unwind that position or start to buy, depending on if you want to be buying low and selling high or vice versa. So check out those as well. Some interesting things um, that I know that they've been developing there. Spot market. This is where you can just um, convert your assets if you've deposited tether or, or bought some crypto and change it into whatever you want choose the percentage. If you do actually want to use um, fiat currency, and I know it's getting harder and harder to do that with different exchanges and all the bank crackdowns lately, I uh, just want to click on buy crypto, uh, type in the amount and the coin you want to buy. It's going to give you the different options for whatever um, country or region you're in when you set up your account. You choose the one that's going to give you the most and then click buy and, and follow those instructions with your credit card or, or bank details or so on. All right, so once you've got all that set up, I do recommend you set up your security really strongly as well. So you wanna choose a unique password in your account security settings. Make sure you've got two-factor authentication turned on and all those different settings um, to make sure you don't get hacked or anything like that. But let's have a look at, I think, the most uh, popular thing that people like to trade. That's the standard futures. So perpetual futures, a little bit more for advanced traders. They're continually rolling over those different products. Um, but standard futures, the ones that most people are gonna use. Uh, the ones you're probably most familiar with and the one that they have the most uh, products for. So once again, depending on what you want to trade, you've got everything there. Use the search bar. If you want to uh, trade Optimism, for example, OP, find that ticker. We've got all the stocks we just touched on, Forex, indices. It's it's all there and you can trade all of these um, if you've got USDT. So all these pairs at the moment are the USDT standard futures, which means that's what you've got to have 
in your futures account to do your different types of trading. That's your collateral. Whereas if we click on the coin margin standard futures, these are the ones where you actually need the coin you want to trade as your collateral. So at the moment, I've got ETH in my account, in my trading account. I want to mainly be trading ETH at the moment. So then I click on the ETH to trade it and I've actually got that ETH in that account and then I can start to put on my position. So let's say uh, I want to risk 25% um, of that three and a half ETH I've got there, uh, five times leverage, let's add a take profit and a stop loss. So let's say I want to take profit if ETH goes another uh, 25% and I wanna set my stop loss if the price actually goes down 10% and we can put on a bullish long position. The other way you can do all this, which I might just show you while we've got it now, uh, is in the virtual trading account as well. Uh, before we go to that, I just wanna show you that isolated or cross margin. So it's important if you've got your collateral that you're willing to use and the amount that you're willing to lose when you set your stop loss and whatnot, and that's uh, you want to make sure you're on isolated margin. So that isolates to those parameters that you're setting versus cross margin. You can um, use more available collateral, basically say, hey, use everything I've got um, to cross margin it to give me wider, but more risk, obviously, and more you can lose if you're allowing, allowing cross margin with all the different positions you've got on, particularly when you're trading against Tether, you might have all your Tether uh, available there and not realize that you're actually using way more for a collateral and putting that at risk for a certain position and so on. All right, let's just go over and have a look uh, when we go back to the USD standard futures and let's click on the VST account. So this is their, um, I guess, demo account where they give you $100,000 of uh, VST. So think of this as like their version of um, USDT or USDC. It's just the, the virtual stable coin for their demo accounts. So this will allow you to have a play around with different positions. I wanna risk 25% say of my 100,000 virtual money. Again, we can put on uh, take profit 50%. Let's put our stop loss at 20% and put on that position. Now that's all gonna um, come down here in our active positions. Um, and as you can see here as well, these dotted lines, SL price, stop loss price, um, and then we can easily just click on those to edit them or edit them down here as well. Close immediately. Um, other orders you've got open, trade history, order history. But, but that's a quick overview of being X guys. So I hope you've liked that. As I've said, plenty of markets, check out that link below. Um, we will be working with them on product development, things like indexes, which I know you guys love to trade in the past, other coin listings and other features that you want. Um, so anything like that, particularly for uh, those in our premium group, just let us know in the comments down below this video. Otherwise, guys, thanks for tuning in. I'll talk to you again soon. Cheers.